Good day friends. Welcome to my channel lecture series on power electronics. In my earlier video I discussed about cycloconverter midpoint type step up cycloconverter. In this video we will be discussing about cycloconverter midpoint type but step down. Before going into the step down operation let me uh, explain you about what is stepping down of the frequency. A cycloconverter is used for changing the frequency. By stepping up what we mean is for one cycle of the input voltage we get more number of output cycles that is stepping up. In this video we are going to see about stepping down. So here this is the input frequency and as you see the black line there are four cycles. Black line you have one positive one negative and the second cycle positive negative third cycle positive negative and fourth cycle positive negative this is the input frequency and we would get an output here we have seen four cycles of input supply and the output what we would get will be like the one shown here you can see the red line for two cycles of the input voltage we have got just one cycle of output frequency and for the next two cycles we have got one half cycle. So for four cycles of the input supply we have got just one cycle of the output supply. The red line shows the output frequency but the actual output will be in the form of uh, cycles as shown here. The average of that is taken as the actual output and here you see that the red line is the output. Let us see the operation of the midpoint cycloconverter for step down. Let us see the circuit operation for midpoint cycloconverter step down. So if you see during the first positive half cycle of the input supply this point is plus and this point is minus. And if during that time, if P1 is given the triggering pulse, the current flow will be from A, P1 through the load back to the supply. During the first negative half cycle, the uh, this point A will be minus and this will be plus. At this time, if P2 is given the triggering pulse, then the current flow will be from plus P2 load back to the supply. So in both the cases if we see the current flow is from right to the left. Right to the left. The current flow is in the same direction. If you see this picture for a positive half cycle the current flow is like this. For the negative half cycle also the current flow is like this. So if for a number of times if this P1, P2, P1, P2 is operated any number of cycles of output voltage we can get for the input supply. So for if the for the first two cycles of the input supply, if we operate P1, P2, P1, P2 two times, we will be getting a waveform which will look like this. So during the first positive, first negative, second positive, second negative, if the switches P1 and P2 are operated as P1, P2, P1, P2, then we get four positive halves of the output frequency and the average would be the red line as shown. Now during the third positive half cycle of the input supply, the point A is going to be positive and B is negative. So during that time, if N2 is given the triggering pulse, then the current flow will be from the midpoint of the transformer through the load through N2 back to the supply and during the negative half cycle, third negative half cycle, A is going to be minus and B is going to be plus. At that time, if N1 is given the triggering pulse, then again the uh, current flow will be from the midpoint load N1 back to the supply. So this way now if we see during the third positive and negative of cycles the current flow in the load is from left to right by operating N2 and N1. During the fourth positive and fourth negative of cycle also if N2 and N1 are operated 
we get four negative halves of the output frequency so the average if we see it is one negative half of the output frequency so if we see for the four cycles of the input voltage we have got an average of only one cycle so this is one fourth of the supply frequency that's why we call it as a step down cyclo converter and is here the mean frequency is 1 by 4 of the supply frequency if the switches are operated for more number of times any frequency required can be obtained so in this picture we see that the firing angle for the scr is given at zero itself so the waveforms are full positive cycles if the firing angle is given at a later stage at some other value the output will look like this here for example i have taken alpha as 30 degrees so we do not get the full positive halves but we get the shifted one the part of the positive half we are getting yet the output frequency will remain the same it is 1/4 the supply frequency but the amplitude of the voltage will change so using a same circuit midpoint cyclo converter we can have either step up or step down so in my next lecture we will see about the step down and stepping up operation of the cyclo converter bridge type thank you